Already gusting out here in Miyakojima, this video from videographer James Reynolds. You can follow him on Twitter at Earth Uncut TV. Right now, the eye of this storm system just making its final approach. Small but heavily populated island of Miyakojima. I know several people out there, Earth Uncut TV, and also Extreme Storms, that's Jim Eds, uh, continuing to document this storm. We've already seen winds gusting up. And over typhoon strength at 66 knots. That was in the outer eye wall. Here's the inner eye wall. Winds estimated, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency, up to 140 knots as that right front quadrant moves right over that island. The good news, Miyakojima is built like a basically a bomb shelter out there. Everything is reinforced concrete. The only time you really see any significant damage is if any loose items are left outside or any injuries when people venture outdoors during these storms. Too worried about the population there. Even back towards the north into Okinawa, just some tropical storm strength gust as these outer rain bands pass on by. The worst of it being down here into Naha. For the military out in Kadena, it looks like, well, that core of the storm system missing well to yourself. Just going to have a breezy day out here as we head through your Tuesday. Overall, though, this storm is going to continue to track towards the west. Right now, dry air continuing to flow in. You can see that here around the center of circulation. In fact, if we go here to morphed microwave imagery, we can see some of that dry air inflow. The course of the past 24 hours, watch this as it tracks towards the west, and you see less and less robust convection. The eye, of course, still stays there, but overall, it just becomes less robust, and that means we're seeing a gradual weakening here. And based on the estimates, even in the top left there, starting at 130 knots, now down to 110 knots based on the estimation on this particular imagery. But where is this going next? Well, it is going to stay north of Ishigaki. And the good news, it looks like the core is going to stay north of Taipei as well. The coastal areas, of course, along northern Taiwan are going to be looking at some fairly serious high waves. Gusty winds in Taipei, a large, large city out there. So definitely the threat of damage is there because they're not as well equipped to handle typhoons, I should say, as Miyakojima towards the east. I believe the threat of damage is going to be higher here into Taiwan as this moves off there towards the west, and also even over towards Fujian for that matter as our storm system makes landfall here in the mainland China. This area is very prone to flooding as that does come on shore, and also throughout the day here on Tuesday you get that wraparound moisture hitting the mountains there just towards the south of Taipei. Remember these mountains are, are fairly rugged peaks, peaking up and over about 15,000 feet at times. Talk about that. It's basically stopping these clouds dead in their track. So as you can see, even on this particular model outlook, just one model, but it does show you that heavy rainfall there in northern Taiwan. Now these mountains are, are prone to flooding. Uh, that's why they have a fairly good drainage system. But every time we see a typhoon, we often see some localized areas just seeing staggering rain totals, which could result in some damage. And then, of course, further inland as this system continues to track off in that direction. So a lot happening here this evening. Right now, though, continue to track this. I highly, highly recommend being, uh, on Twitter at Earth Uncut TV and at Extreme Storms. Two separate Twitters, that's James Reynolds and Jim Eds. Both of them superb and experienced storm chasers. They're out there documenting the storm as it pushes overhead there in the Miyakojima. And then... Uh, heading off there towards Taiwan, you're going to see some fairly decent impacts as well. So yeah, that's all from me here this evening. Uh, evening my time, midday your time if you are out here in the Western Pacific. Stay safe, guys. As always, thanks for watching.